Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to Pixel Rich Games, where we strive in making super hard, super fun. In this episode of Ellen Ring, let's go over how to activate Seppuku for both dual wielded weapons. Before we get into it, give your boy some support by subscribing to the channel and liking this video to get YouTube's algorithm to promote this channel. Okay, so I found a couple of vids on this out there, but didn't really help me because I play on a PC and the controls are really different from others, so I figured to do this video. The first thing we need to do, given that we already are dual wielding our weapons, both imbued with Sipoku as of war. By the way, if you don't have Sipoku yet, I have a guide on that, links in the description. Okay, so the first thing we do is hold our secondary weapon with both hands. On PC, that's done with E plus right click. And on consoles, that's either a Y plus LB or a triangle plus L1. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and apply Sipoku for this weapon. Again, on a PC, we can do that with Shift plus right click. And on consoles, it's much easier. It's either LT or L2. Next, we take out our main hand weapon. Take note, we take it out and not cycle through the secondary weapon. On PC, we do that with an E plus left click. And on consoles, that's either a Y plus RB or triangle plus R1. This will bring us back into the dual wielding mode. And from here, just go ahead and apply Sipoku again. And again, for PC, that's with shift plus right click. On consoles, that's LT or L2. Use this while you still can. All right, that's it for me in this episode. I hope you find this short guide useful. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to see more content on Ellen Ring. Also, hit that bell to get notified whenever I have new content out. See you on my next vid. Stay healthy, keep safe, and God bless us all.